<clears throat> Do I have your attention? I was going to read a little article today, since we're all here, to look at this amazing robe and undergarments I have on. So before we have a look at that, I thought we'd read this article that I found, published in the New York Times, The Mistakes That Will Haunt Our Legacy, by Nicholas Kristof. As we pull down controversial statues and reassess historical figures, I've been wondering what our great-grandchildren will find bewilderingly immoral about our times and about us. Which of today's heroes will be discredited? Which statues will be toppled? What will later generations see as our own ethical blind spots? I believe that one will be our cruelty to animals. Modern society relies on factory farming to produce protein that is inexpensive and abundant, but it causes suffering to animals on an incalculable scale. Over the last 200 years, the world has become far more sensitive to animal rights. In feudal Europe, a game consisted of nailing a cat to a post and headbutting it to death. Now, growing numbers of states have passed animal protection laws. McDonald's is moving to cage-free eggs. And there are legal debates about whether certain mammals should have standing to sue in courts. Pope Francis suggests that animals go to heaven, and many humans would agree. Paradise would be diminished without pets. We as a society often do not extend this empathy to unseen animals, unseen farm animals, especially poultry. Some 9.3 billion chickens were slaughtered last year in the United States, 28 per American. And here's how they are typically killed. Workers shove the chicken's legs into metal shackles and the birds are then carried upside down to an electrified bath that stuns them before a circular saw cuts open their necks and they are dunked into scalding water. Nice. Even when this system works perfectly, chickens sometimes have legs or wings broken as they are shackled. When the system fails, they are not stunned and struggle frantically as they are carried to the saw. The saw in turn misses many birds. The Agriculture Department says that 526,000 chickens were not slaughtered correctly last year, and some are boiled alive. A child who plucks out a bird's feathers may be punished, but corporate executives who torture birds by the billions are showered with stock options. Factory farming also diminishes human frontline workers, from struggling farmers who raise animals to the miserably paid and poorly protected slaughterhouse employees now falling ill from the coronavirus. In the face of all this, attitudes are changing. 8% of young American adults said in 2018 that they were vegetarians, compared with just 2% of Americans 55 and older. I became a vegetarian almost two years ago. Not a strict one, and I do eat fish. Pretty sure that's called a pescatarian. And I suspect that ethical and environmental considerations and the increasing availability of tasty alternatives to meat will lead our descendants to eat less meat and be baffled at our casual acceptance of an industrial agricultural model built on large scale cruelty. One day future generations will look back on our abuse of animals in factory farms with the same attitude that we have to the cruelties of the Roman games at the Colosseum, Peter Singer at Princeton University philosopher told me, they will wonder how we could be blind to the suffering we are so needlessly inflicting on billions of animals. A third area where I suspect our descendants will judge us harshly is climate change. Our generation's denialism will lead to more extreme weather, more flooded homes, more heat waves and resentment that early 21st century humans could have been so selfish as to refuse to take small steps to reduce carbon emissions. There you have it. Now, just before I show off this beautiful robe and the undergarments underneath, I wanted to point out that the single biggest thing that anyone can do to help with the environment and to lessen their carbon footprint is to go vegan. The impact that animal agriculture has on the planet is crazy. It is the leading cause of deforestation, ocean dead zones, water pollution, water consumption, and almost every other environmental issue that we're facing. So without further ado, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. 